Very good evening, everyone. Jeremy here from Cron Strategic Singapore. And uh, some updates for you on the Straits Times Index. It's now the 6th of December, Sunday at 9.30 p.m. All right, so the uh, Santa Claus rally from the uh, S&P 500 in the American markets has indeed given a boost to uh, stocks in Singapore. And uh, you can see on the monthly charts, uh, although we are still on a long-term downtrend since the 1st of October, two years ago in 2018, the STI is trying very hard uh, to hit its uh, second target of 3108 which is at the SS uh, B line on the cloud as well as a confluence on the super trend line at 3108. So this is indeed a formidable target. We can expect uh, the STI to test this level if uh, the current bullish sentiments continue. Uh, 3108 will be a very significant level because it's right on the SSB line. Uh, which is right below the cloud, this particular area right here. So to break through this particular SSSB line and hold above, you might get a little bit of recovery on the STI turning it bullish. Otherwise, expect price to actually bounce away from the SSB line after a test as so. So 3108 and then resume its downtrend because uh, currently, on the monthly chart, we are still having a bearish uh, tone uh, on the STI for the uh, 2020 at least. Looking at the weekly charts is a slightly different picture. As you can see, uh, the weekly charts currently with a long signal on the 7th of November 2020. Uh, targeting 3108, which is a super trend line on the monthly, uh, we have some positive developments right here, whereby we are having a new uh, uptrend on the weeklies uh, with a long signal that was issued on the 9th of November 2020 at this particular level of 2691. So it's a new long signal on the weekly charts and what we want to be watching uh, is for price to actually hold above this particular cloud line which lies somewhere between 2746 on this pivot as well as uh, 2800 points so if price is able to trade and bounce off 2,800 points, we might have a little bit traction or more traction for this move to 3,108, which is the monthly target. All right. So we need to watch for 2,008, 2,746. Otherwise, um, the weekly uh, bullish signal uh, may test its support at 2,663 or 2,585 uh, in the medium term. All right. So essentially, weekly charts, a new bullish signal. All right, and uh, 3108 seems to be on a target uh, for the next couple of weeks to come. All right, so for most of you using the daily charts, uh, as you can see on the daily charts uh, for uh, traders who have gone long uh, on this signal on the 4th of November, uh, almost a month ago, uh, very nice returns. And currently on the daily charts, uh, you can see uh, price pulling back from a resistance at 2839er. Uh, we need to actually break through this particular resistance for us to hit our target of 3108. Otherwise, uh, watch for a resistance, uh, a rejection of this 2839 region uh, where price may want to bounce off and test 2767 on the super trend line okay which may encourage further weakness on the daily charts so once again very bullish on the daily charts uh, with a little bit of resistance at 2839 uh failing to break above this resistance at 2839 we may test the pivot at 2767 so watch for uh, these two particular levels which i'll reinforce in my blog on the web page quantstrategic.com.sg now, for those uh, who are traders or swing traders taking positions for a couple of weeks or a couple of days at a time, uh, the long signal in, in 3rd of November 2020 has been violated. And uh, we currently have a short setup uh, at 2841. 
uh, that was issued on the 30th of November 2020, uh, targeting 2767. You can find those targets on the daily chart. So um, currently, price action is uh, trying to uh, uh, test and uh, the pivot at 2873, which is this particular level here. Price must successfully test and break above 2873 for it to continue its uptrend to 2108. So this particular short signal, if unsuccessfully, uh, or rather if it's unsuccessful to test 2873, it may retreat, all right? It may retreat and test uh, 2842 as well as 2817. And then the top of the cloud and bottom of the cloud where a short signal uh, or rather the short targets will be achieved. All right, so in the short term basis on the four hourly charts, uh, the STI has had a short signal uh, at the level of 2841 and uh, targeting 2767. And the most important point to look out for is 2873. We must break through for it to resume its uptrend together with the daily charts. Uh, 2873, if unable to break above, we may actually test all these levels here at the 2842, 2817, and then the top of the cloud and the base of the cloud. All right, so, um, so just to summarize, uh, what we are actually seeing is that the STI is having a nice retracement from a strong downtrend on the monthly charts, targeting 3108. And on the weekly charts, we had a new fresh long signal targeting 3108 for the rebound. On the daily charts, very nice uptrend. And currently, uh, we want to see whether 2839 on the dailies is uh, broken to continue its uptrend, as well as the pivot at 289, uh, 2873 is broken to continue its uptrend. All right, so on the STI, uh, probably a little break uh, that is uh, being taken, investors taking profits uh, on the 30th of November and uh, watch for 2873 for it to test 3108. Thanks for watching. Click on the bell to get notifications for my next video. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.